Hi guys, welcome to a really quick introduction to Dartfish TV. Had quite a few teachers uh, saying to me that they found it difficult to navigate around Dartfish TV or couldn't find the videos that I'd created for them. So I wanted to give you a really quick guide into what to do. So first thing, we'll just put the address in here. So www.dartfish.tv and what that will do is take you straight to the Dartfish TV homepage. Now, there are so many fantastic things on here that I can, uh, I can navigate you around. So the first thing that we do is that if you have a look at the screen, we have a home, a login, and the different channels. So if, for example, I went here to the, um, the channel view, and I click onto there, this will show me all of the free channels. So you'll notice at the moment I'm not actually logged in um, and I'm not registered, although I will show you later on how you can use the login I've created. Um, and in here, basically what you can do is type in a channel that might be something of interest to you or search through the channels and you find it. So if I, for example, typed in rugby, It'll go through Dartfish TV when I click on OK and it'll show me any channels that were specific to rugby. Um, if I was to put tennis in there and hit enter, it'll show me anything that's uh, in Dartfish TV to do with tennis. And you can see there's quite a few in there. So there's a few options. If I go into there and I put in Dartfish, It'll show me some channels specifically with the word Dartfish in them and to do with Dartfish. Okay, so there's a lot of things that you can do with regard to going in and searching around channels. If I was to then go to one of those channels, so let's say for example Dartfish Basketball, um, all the channels basically look the same. They give you a few options to be able to view videos and join and, and do a few other things. Now, the easiest way to find your way around a channel is to click on the tab that says explore. So if I click into there, you'll notice once I do that, <clears throat> all of the videos that are associated to this channel will appear and they'll appear based on a couple of different categories. So you'll see there's penalty type or evaluation. So you can see here penalty type, we've got blocking fouls, charging fouls, delay of game fouls, you can see all of those. Or we've got evaluation, um, and you can see in here there's a, an evaluation for good call. So if we go back to penalty type, if I want to have a look at all of the penalty types that were specific to a travelling foul, I then click onto that category. And here are the three that are specific to a travelling foul. If I now press play, And you can see we're just waiting. This is the video specific to this traveling foul. Now, there are some other options in there as well. One of those is to get an attachment. So if I click on the attachment tab and you can see there's a one here. If I click on that, it sees that it's got um, a, an attachment that I can grab, which is uh, it's some XML code. We don't really need that. Some videos you'll find will also have comments. Um, or you'll be able to write a comment uh, if you log in. Videos, if you scroll up here, also allow you to share, download, and, um, and replay them. So if I click on the Share tab, I can put this video onto Facebook, onto YouTube, onto MySpace. Um, I'm able to email it or a link to it from, uh, <clears throat> from Dartfish through my email editor as well. So there's a whole range of things that you can do. So... There's a little bit more about Dartfish and Dartfish TV and how Dartfish TV works and how you can navigate your way around. Now, let's have a look at the channel that has been specifically set up for you as a teacher. So first of all, we need to log in. And when I hit the login button, it gives me a username option and the username is teacher and the password is also teacher and then I click login. Now this at the moment is a free website created for teaching um, for teachers in Victoria. So 
I'm now logged in and you can see that because I've got a log out button there are a few things that I can do here but basically the one thing that I want to do is I want to go to this education video examples channel and this is where videos have been put for you as a teacher to be able to access and have a look at you also have my channel which is a channel I've set up for you with a few videos that might be of interest now at the moment there's only one video here that's been selected as a favorite but you're able to select other videos as favorite as you see them so back to education video examples remembering that this channel and this username and password is generic for teachers in Australia so if we go into the explore tab that then brings up a whole range of different sports where I've shared videos for you and you can see here we've got AFL, athletics, baseball, golf, gymnastics. If I now go to, let's say, the swimming tab and I left click on there, it'll show me all of the videos that I've got in swimming. If I wanted one of those in particular, and you can see we've got fly, um, fly, swimming, freestyle, breaststroke. If I click on this video here, let's say for the breaststroke turn, the video itself will play which is wonderful if I want to download that video I click here on the download tab download this media including annotations to your dartfish player library I click on the download all if I want to download all of the videos or if I click on to here I can download this video by just choosing to save the file so that's how you can add video to your file We've also got the option over here of being able to share the video. So if I click on share, copy this link, um, and if I now click on Facebook, it'll instantly open up my Facebook page, and it will share that video to my Facebook page. And it does it automatically. So that's how quickly you can share video to um, to your Facebook page. Um, important to know that you are logged in on this channel as a teacher, as a guest, and so my preference would be share it onto your personal Facebook page, that's great, or download the video that you find that's of use to you. So that's how easy it is to find video and to share it. Remembering the key button is the Explore tab. Whenever you click on there, it'll take you through to different sports. You click on to the sport and um, this golf is a good example so if I now click on to the golf video one of the things that you'll notice is that there are actually multiple videos for golf so let's have a look at how we can see all of them um, all of these videos are available to me in golf I can download them all just by selecting this download all button so easy enough for me to be able to do that these are the details. So I click on the details tab. These are the details of all of the different golf videos that we have. Okay, so all there. If I wanted to print one of these videos out, I'd be able to do that by selecting this print option. So print this document. And that instantly opens up a page that will allow me to print the video out we can choose how we want the video to look and then we can choose to print the video so you can see here a couple of videos here that are available to us what Dartfish is doing is giving us video that has a key position okay so those of you that know Dartfish will understand that and if there's a key position there it will allow you to print out those key positions okay so lots of really uh, lots of really good options with regard to Dartfish and what you're able to do uh, once you're in Dartfish TV. And uh, that'll end the lesson for today. So remember, in you go, find a channel that's important to you or something that's of interest, click on the Explore tab, and you can often download those videos directly and, and use them in your teaching straight away.